And for the first time ever, Lowell will be hosting a gay pride event in the city. After a year of virtual events, organizers chose the theme Better Together. 13 On Your Side's Emma Nicholas has details on tomorrow's event. Over the last year that Betty's Pages has been open, it served as a safe space, something that shop owner Nicole Lindsmith knew she wanted to expand on. Last year, in the height of COVID, we did a small uh, virtual event for the store, and I was like, man, I really want to do an in-person Pride in Lowell. The first ever in-person Lowell Pride will take place Saturday. It's been a year of planning and we like cannot believe that it's here now. The length of the Riverwalk will be lined with vendors. We have over 50 vendors who are coming. We've got crafters, nonprofits, we've got businesses. Uh, and we have, at this point, I believe we're up to 65 volunteers who are going to be helping throughout the day, doing all kinds of fun stuff. The main stage is where events like Drag Queen Storytime will take place. Lindsmith says she's been amazed by the outpouring of support so far. It's been a lot of positivity. We have a couple of people who are always going to be negative about it, but for the most part, it's been overwhelmingly positive. She says she's heard especially from teenaged customers about how much it means to them. As someone who identifies as queer, Lintmouth says this is an experience she wishes she had at a young age, and she calls on parents of teens to share in the excitement with their children. Please share that excitement with them because that's a big deal for them to be sharing this with you, and I just know that if I had had an event like this when I had been a teenager growing up in a small town, I can't even like imagine what a difference it would have made in my life growing up. Lintmouth says it's the first Lowell Pride and not the last. We are going to be here for a very long time and that's going to be amazing, but just being a part of the first is, I'm, I'm already, I know I'm going to cry like at least five times tomorrow. Like that's my bet that I've put out there. In Lowell, Emma Nicholas, 13 on your side.